I'm going to do a modern day version of Kladni's experiment. This is a Kladni plate. It's just a flat metal sheet that's held in the middle. And if I hit it, it makes a sound that doesn't sound very pleasant. It's certainly not nearly as nice as Big Ben. But that sound has a lot in common with the sound of Big Ben because it's made up of lots of different frequencies. And Ernst Kladni came up with a really clever way of picking apart where that sound comes from. So he started with a plate like this and he sprinkled sand on top. So I'm going to do that. And then he set the plate vibrating. And I'm going to do that with a signal generator here that's going to move the middle of the plate up and down. And the number on the front here is the number of times every second that vibration is going to happen. So at the moment, it's 240. So if I turn this on... So it's not a pleasant noise. You can see the sand is dancing about on the plate, but it's not, not too exciting so far. But what happens if you turn the frequency up is quite different. And suddenly, at this frequency here, it's 264 hertz, you can see this beautiful pattern pops up in the sand on the top of the plate. And what this is giving away is that the plate is vibrating in a shape and the sand is showing us what shape that is. What's happening is that the plate is bending like this and that the parts of the plate that are moving a lot, the sand's getting bounced away. And the parts of the plate that are between a bit that's going up and a bit that's going down don't move at all and so the sand accumulates in those places. So what Kladni had found was a really clever trick for seeing the shape of the vibration even though he couldn't see it with his eyes. The vibration pattern revealed by the sand occurs at what's known as a natural frequency of the metal plate. This is a specific frequency at which the plate naturally vibrates and produces sound. And this is part of what's making up the sound when I hit the plate, but it's not all of it, because if you keep turning the frequency up, there's more to see. And so here we are up at 426 hertz and suddenly out of that mess there's another pattern of vibration, beautiful pattern on the plate here. Kladni's experiment reveals how a simple object, this metal plate, can produce a complex sound. Because it doesn't just vibrate at one frequency, it has many natural frequencies. Each corresponding to a different pattern of vibration, more elaborate than the one before. When you hit the plate, what happens is that lots of those vibration patterns all happen at the same time, one on top of the other. Each one contributes their natural frequency to the mix, and that combination is what makes up the sound that you hear. Every object that vibrates has its own combination of natural frequencies, determined by its physical characteristics. And together, these frequencies form a unique acoustic signature. So there's a beautiful relationship between an object and the sound that it produces. When you hear a sound, you're hearing messages about the thing that created it, its size, its shape, what it's made from, even how the object was made.